hello welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i want to take you today through balancing chemical equation so i have an equation here sodium plus chlorine when you react sodium plus chlorine you get sodium chloride as the product now when we want to balance the equation the first step is you count you count the elements or the atoms on the reactant side this is the reactant side and the product side so you can write reactant side and this is the product side so the first step you count the atoms of the element on the reactant side we have sodium and we have chlorine on the product side we also have sodium and chlorine so you count the number of the atoms sodium we have one chlorine we have two there are two we have one on the product side we have one sodium and we also have one chlorine as well so we want to balance this equation because it's not balanced on my reactant side i have one sodium and two chlorine so i have to balance this sodium so that they can be both two so what i do i'll place here two this is the coefficient so when we are balancing we only change the coefficient but the subscript cannot be changed the values that are below here the subscript will never be changed but the coefficient are being changed so when i write here two sodium will be two on the reactant side chlorine will be two as well on the reactant side but on the product side i have one sodium and one chlorine so what do i do to balance them i write here two when i write two before sodium chloride this means that the sodium atoms are two chlorine atoms are two chlorine are two on the reactant side and sodium atoms are two as well so the equation is balanced let us look on an, on this other equation so i am reacting iron oxide plus carbon and the result i'm getting iron metal plus carbon to oxide so you i want to balance the equation so this is my reactant side and this is my product side so again the first step i count the i write down the atoms this is iron and this is oxygen i have one iron and one oxygen i also have carbon carbon is one on my product side i have iron which is one i also have oxygen there are two and i also have carbon it's one so this equation it's not balanced because my oxygen on my product side i only have two oxygen on my reactant side i have one oxygen that means it's not balanced so to balance it let us start with iron iron on reactant side it's one on the product side it's one so it's balanced but oxygen on the reactant side it's not balanced on the reactant side and the product side it's not balanced to balance it i'll place here two but when i place here two i've affected the number of ion atoms so ion will definitely change to two oxygen will be two as well my carbon is one carbon is one on the reactant side and on my product side it's also one 
but on this side I have two ions on the reactant side but I have one ion on the product side so to balance it I also write two over here when there are two ions two ions two oxygen one carbon on the product side on the reactant side I have two ion two oxygen and one carbon so my equation is balanced let us look at another equation This is sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. I get a salt. This is sodium sulfate plus water. I am reacting a base plus an acid. My end result will be an a salt plus water. So let us balance the equation. This is the reactant side and this is the product side. We're going to count the number of elements or the number of atoms on the reactant side. I have sodium, I have oxygen, I have hydrogen, hydrogen, this is hydrogen. I also have sulfur or I can just write the polyatom, sulfur and yeah that is it i also have sodium i also have oxygen i also have hydrogen and sulfur so i'm going to balance this equation on my reactant side i only have one sodium oxygen one oxygen plus four oxygen there are five oxygen i have one hydrogen plus two hydrogen there are three i have one sulfate on my product side i have sodium atom there are two sulfur over here i have one and oxygen i have four plus one five hydrogen there are two so my sodium on the reactant side it's one on my product side are two oxygen there are five oxygen on the product side there are also five hydrogen there are three and two one verse one so what i want to do i want to balance the let me begin with balancing sodium to make them two on the both side i'll come and write here two so definitely on my reactant side, I'll have two sodium atoms. But this two has also affected my hydrogen and oxygen. Now that now I have two oxygen plus four, they become six. On my other side, sodium is already balanced because I can see there are two here and also here. My sodium is balanced, but my oxygen it's not balanced because i have four plus five on my product side but on my reactant side there are six so i have to balance them for me to balance the oxygen atom over here or over here i'll have to write a two here so if i write a two here my oxygen will be two plus four there are six so there are six and they are six this has also affected my hydrogen because i've written here too my hydrogen will now change will now change from because here i have four hydrogen and on this side I, on my reactant side i have two hydrogen plus two hydrogen that's four and on my product side i have two times two it's four so i have four and i have four my sulfur is one and one so my 
and my equation is balanced i've balanced it all the re all the on the reactant side and the product side have the same number of atoms so that's the end of our video today remember to subscribe like comment down below remember to practice practice until you become a legend bye bye